Hey everyone, it's Christina from American Root Flower Farm. So I'm out here on a Monday on the flower farm and I'm gonna plant up the rest of the seed trays that I uh, brought out yesterday um, from all the work that we did yesterday. So let me just show you. Here's one seed tray I have. Um, let me show you what I have to do today. So you can see the seed trays all lined up all the way down the road to my car. And then so yesterday I done about five seed trays all the way down to the end where you can see down. All uh, right, right there. I don't know if that was helpful. So I don't really have a tripod. Um, so I'll see what I can catch on video without the tripod. And I am working with the glove today, um, just because the ground is kind of dry and um, it's a lot of planting to do. And uh, I don't want to catch any bugs between my fingers. Sitting right now are Cosmos and um, I'm planting them 12 inches apart. Uh, the drip line is kind of on a slope. Uh, so um, I'm planting on the bottom end of the drip line on um, the lower end. So say the drip line's right here, I'm planting the lower end so uh, gravity works with me and, um, and the water flows to the roots instead of if I were to plant on the upper side of the drip line, I would have, um, it wouldn't get as much water. So planting at the lower so gravity helps out. And these were done with seed um, with a soil blocker. And I'm just putting them in and pushing the dirt around them, making sure that I'm getting below the drip line.
So here are my soil blocks. Um, this one was not so, uh, this has got a lot more of the coconut choir in it. Uh, they're not as dense and they kind of fall apart in comparison to some other ones that I, um, to another uh, batch that I made that had more uh, compost and more, uh, what did it have more of? More compost and more uh, worm castings. <laughs> yeah, had more compost, more worm castings, less coconut choir. Uh, those ones held together more, uh, held together better. Right, this is kind of interesting view because the sun is right behind me. I go dark. It's like an eclipse. It is like an eclipse. So I just wanted to stop and show you guys the um the the soil blocks, the ones that I really like. So they hold together really nicely. See, they got the roots, and uh, yeah, these ones just hold together really nicely. They don't fall apart when you hold them. And, uh, Use the Benares orange right here. I just got done planting the Benares lime. <clears throat> and so um, I did one tree of those. I finished off, I finished planting the Cosmos. And uh, so I'll keep going. I've been out here for maybe 30 minutes planting, probably more than that. All right, so I'm a mess. I've gotten all of, I've gotten all of uh, those seeds, those seed trays started. Uh, planted all those seed trays planted um, I almost actually finished out that whole row I only done along one line of the drip line and um, and so right now I'm checking the sprinklers because the drip line is not attached yet and so uh, we're just gonna use the sprinklers to water them in hopefully Ona will be out here tonight this afternoon and uh, get those figured out or get some of those um, drip lines going he needs to get some pieces uh, to attach them. But uh, here's a good example of the drip line that we laid yesterday. The sprinkler is about to go right over me, but uh, there's three, one, two, three. Try to run from the sprinkler. It's a huge compost, huge pile of compost right here. There was a chicken that was killed somewhere. There's no chickens around here, um, but uh, something got a chicken and then drug it over here to our field and um, ate most of it, left the feathers behind. But that's nature and so yeah so that was a good example of the three lines of drip tape that we have laid that's the third bed uh, up there is a fourth bed we'll walk down it and I'll show you um, the seeds that have sprouted and what we have up there that I started what two weeks ago yeah so um uh, so right now I'm checking the sprinklers to make sure they're going in the right direction uh, some of them seem to be going all the way around um, others are just doing a half rotation and so um, I'm correcting the rotation if they are not going full. So this one's not going a full circle. So um, I'm going to fully rotate this. Turn it the other way. That way it went locked or something. Oh, this is a weird one. This one doesn't go behind me at all. It doesn't get the row at all. It's like, I'm doing it wrong. I'm an idiot. I have to turn the whole thing at the base. At the base of it, I have to turn the whole thing. And then I can figure out how far it goes. We want to put it in that. And then see how far it goes this way. Is that far that way? And that far that way. I want it to go a little further that way, so I'll turn it at the base. And then that could be it on that one. It is, uh, sprinklers are my arch nemesis. I do not like sprinklers. 
And so, uh, let's see, this one. So I'll turn it and lock up. Let's see. Oops. I have no idea. It done some weird clicking on that. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, sprinklers are my arch nemesis. I'm a freaking mess. Look at my hair. I'm not here getting sunburned again, but that's uh, just the way I roll. I think I have dirt on my face. I look funny. Long days on the farm. And so, yeah, I'm just watching the sprinkler right now. Uh, it's coming a little far. And then it stopped. So I'm going to turn it a little bit further this way. And that should correct that. I don't know if I'm even showing you guys anything. So it's definitely right now. And so, um, let's go and see Ona's contraption that he made to hook up the drip tape. The converter system that he made to connect the drip tape to the pre-existing sprinkler line. This is what he done. And, uh, he can go into, uh, he'll go into, um, detail about that later. But, uh, let's walk down the row that I just done, that I just planted. Gonna hit with the sprinkler so I can show you guys what I done. Directly sprayed with a sprinkler, okay. So we have the, the end of the row is right here. And, uh, I am for sure gonna hit the sprinkler at least one. So I didn't plant the whole row. Um, I think maybe I'm about uh, 100 feet from the end of the row. But here's where I ended. You can see. And, um... Okay, it's my guard. Ooh! That's rather cold. Um, so yeah, so all the way down is what I've done. So, uh, these are the Benaries. Uh, I planted them 12 inches apart. Uh, reason being, uh, because they are susceptible to disease. And so I wanted to make sure that, um, I gave the best chance possible, uh, to be disease, uh, against diseases. So I planted them 12 inches apart. They can be planted nine inches apart. Um, a lot of flower farmers do plant them nine inches apart. However, I'm not concerned on space. And so I'm not, um, I'd rather have a successful crop, a disease, a disease free crop. Um, to me, having a disease free crop is more important than uh, having a more, um, more production. If that makes sense. So uh, here's the Cosmos, we're about to the sprinkler again. Here's the Cosmos. I gotta come through and pick up the sea trays and I will do that when I drive out of here. I will just stop and pick them up. No, I'm lying. I'm just going to pick them up now. So my phone is getting low. It's at 10%. And so I'm actually going to... We're going to skip up to the last row. So I can show you... So I can show you what um, what sprouted over here. I'll throw these guys down. And um, so we have a ton of sunflowers. And Benaries giant. I don't know if you guys can see all the little green sprouts that are popping up. Um, those are all Benaries. And well, right here in the center where I'm at are uh, Benaries. And then down at the end are sunflowers, all different varieties. You can go back to the past video to, uh, to see what varieties I planted. Uh, but they were all pro cuts they're either white or peach or the gold and in fact right here i can tell that these ones are the peach ones because they are um peach colored yeah so these ones are actually peach right here 
Those are the only ones that I've noticed that have a different color. But ah, oh, they're growing. They're they're looking really good. Look at this. Isn't that great? I mean, it's already got um two sets of true leaves on it. There's some even bigger ones up here. I was actually concerned for a minute that they that um we didn't get a high um a high germination rate, but um as uh, we got rain this week and I guess quite a bit of it. So uh, that helped out a lot with uh, not having to water. And then we weren't able to come out here and water for a couple days because uh, we had a family emergency. And uh, so we had the landowner a water for us. But uh, these are looking great. There's some bare spots, which is probably due to the watering. And yeah, so uh, I'm gonna close out this video. I'm gonna get these sprinklers turned off. I'm gonna go back through and grab my seed trays and um, turn these sprinklers off. I just wanted to get them going a little bit to water in the, um, the plants that I just planted, the seedlings that I just planted. But, um, I'm hoping that Ona will get out here this evening and um, get the actual drip line going. So uh, remember my flower friends, keep your hands dirty. Thanks for following along. Remember, like and subscribe if you like our content um, and uh, so you can stay current on what we are uh, doing out here on the You Pick Flower Farm and at home in our home garden.